Die, 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 die. What's up, guys, and welcome back to Slime Rancher and the Ranch. We haven't been here in quite a long time. As you guys will remember, over the past few episodes, we've been rejuvenating the Glass Desert. And in the time that I've been bringing life back to that area, my ranch has been dying. I came back to find all of my food had grown and rotted away. All of my roosters got old. Some of my slimes escaped. I'm not totally sure how, but I came back and found a bunch of them roaming around. And then we have all of the new slimes that we found we need to find a home for, and we need to find all their favorite food. There's a lot of maintenance and a lot of work to do around the ranch, and I really don't want to get to it right now. I'm going to procrastinate it for another episode because I want to finish off the Glass Desert. You guys will remember last time we only got three of the four rejuvenation fountains activated, I guess you could call them. We needed more dervish plorts, and we needed to find those remaining statues, so I kind of want to go back. But before we do that, I wanted to check out something that you guys recommended to me being the teleporters. Right, because I was saying to get to the Glass Desert, it's a huge journey, you get lost really easily, and then the teleporter there will bring me back, but it's not a two-way teleporter. And people were telling me you can build a teleporter, use slime science, so I've built a pink teleporter, and I don't know if it's a two-way link? It doesn't really say. Technically, we already have a one-way link, so as long as I don't screw this up royally, we might be okay. I swear to God, quantum slimes are like the herpes of slimes. You just can't get rid of them. They keep coming back. I got all of them last episode and launched them into the ocean, and they're still hanging out. Where do they keep coming from? Where did they go? There was just three of them here. I grabbed one and they took off. Okay, screw it. You know what? I want to put all of my teleporters in the same area. I want to have one going to hopefully every location on the map. So I think I'm just going to line them up out here. You have one over there, one over there, one over there. Yeah, that would probably work. So let's get rid of this thing. Uh, pick it up, sure, why not? I don't really care about that. And then we're gonna stall the teleporter. So, is that a two-way or a one-way? Is that the entrance or the exit? <laughs> I might wanna read a little bit more about this. Slimepedia is of no help. Just says that we can create shortcuts. So let's just hope that I didn't screw it up already. Made the long journey once again, we're back in the glass desert, night has fallen, and I'm completely lost. That is the mosaic slime area over there, I believe, so over here should be the dervishes. I can't remember if we've seen one or two, but I don't think we've even seen the fountain that I'm trying to activate. It's like there's an entire area that I'm just passing over repeatedly. I'm seeing a lot of thirsty plants and stuff, but no area that I'm missing. Like, th this place is a bit of a maze, and I know I keep saying it over and over again. I even tweeted at the developers. I was like, please, for the love of God, give me a map, give me a compass, give me anything. There's just there's no way to navigate in this game. And I haven't forgot about the teleporter. I will put that down, we will test it out, but I want to do that when I'm ready to leave, because if it's a one-way, I don't want to make that walk again. It has to be something to do with this place, right? We haven't done a whole lot of stuff over here. I know one of the purple ones is right there. Right, that's the only purple one that we've seen so far. So there must be something going on around this area. I'm constantly afraid that I'm gonna get fire up the butt. Oh, oh, wait, was that one? Go oh, fire up the butt. Okay, no, wait, I think that's one. Are you? Yes, there we go, walked right past it. Two to two of three, I think. All right, all right. ow, ow, ow. On the upside, I get more fire slimes, and I'm all for that. I can't believe these chickens just chill out here all the time, though. I wouldn't be able to survive in a place where I'm constantly under assault from the sun. Right, it was this fountain. Okay, we had found it last episode. I just forgot. It happens all the time. So we have two of three down. So there is one more out there that's similar to that one. I assume I've been walking past over and over and over. I'm sure I can find it though. I really want to get this done because there's only a couple more flowers that I've been able to see and I haven't seen any other kind of statues. It should only be mosaic rock and dervish, which is weird. You would expect fire or... Oh... Wait, what is that? Okay, I was gonna say we haven't seen tangle slimes yet. I'm willing to bet Something is gonna happen. Something big is gonna happen when I manage to get the glass desert changed, and what are you willing to bet that you're blocking it? You like veggies, do you fatty? What do you got behind you over there? Oh, there is a lot behind you. 
I don't have vegetables. All right, well, I think this is as good a time as any to try out our new teleporter. So that is gonna bring me to the ranch. Pray for me. Uh, is that gonna bring me? Oh, it brings me back. It's a two-way. Yes, the teleporters are so good. Okay, that's awesome. So now I can plant some vegetables, grow a whole ton of vegetables, and then hopefully we'll be able to feed that Gordo in no time. People were telling me in the comments the last episode as well that Bob is actually three pink slimes standing on top of each other, and he looks like it. He really does, he kind of looks like evil pink slimes though. They don't usually have like a little white pupil. He's kind of terrifying to be completely honest. But either way, we have carrots growing, we have parsnips growing. That should be enough. Like I can't find this stuff out in the wild because everything eats it instantly. So I guess we can sleep to burn a little bit of time. Oh, I have mail to read as well. I need to keep up on the mail. And we have rewards club. Forgot about that as well. Okay, uh, Casey, what are you up to? Hi, B. I bought a cactus from you. Sort of. When I came back home, it was one of the only things left in your shop. I was a lonely little guy, so I decided to adopt it. You know, I kill every plant I touch, but I promise you this one will last. I mean, if I can't keep a cactus alive, then clearly something is really wrong. When I look at it, I think of you out there on the range, doing your thing. Hope you're okay, Casey. So I think all the Casey stuff is just... Beat my friend, right? He's not really saying anything relevant. Uh, rewards club I haven't done anything with yet. Bob wants more chickens and mochi as well. Okay, so if that's the case, what are the rewards? Okay, we need a Rustro Wither Vein. Oh, that's my reward. Uh, okay, I just purchase it. Sure. Oh, it's something to spend my money on. Oh, thank God. Finally! I've been saying this ever since the game was made. You make so much money in this game, it's absurd, and you do not need 99% of it. Now, I can actually burn my money on stuff like fence upgrades, and path upgrades, and porch upgrades, and random colors. Okay, that, let's not get too crazy. I'm also sitting on a stockpile of uh, quartz over here, right? I got a ton, all of this is full with tons of different kinds of plorts, I think both of them. So we might have another Breaking the Bank episode to climb up the rank of the 7Z, whatever it is. But for now, oh yeah, look at that. Fancy. Ooh. What else did it give me? A new porch and stuff like that? I should look around. I do have a new porch and a weather vane and oh man, look at that, the path is all changed. I like these upgrades. That's a really good addition to the game. Okay, either way, so let's check how our stuff is going. Do we don't want to fall in the teleporter? How you doing, parsnips? Not so well. Hmm. Okay, we might need to go look for vegetables. I don't really want to wait multiple days. Well, I walked the entire way across the map and found five carrots. Five carrots for an entire journey across the world. They're really stressing the fact that you need to have some kind of agriculture going on your farm or you're completely screwed. Yeah, in the time I was gone, the parsnips grew. Okay, lovely. So you guys should count as two each because I think you're the favorite food of the mosaic gordo. We have 15 of those, 14 carrots. I might have more carrots done in up here. All my slimes are freaking starving to death, and in the meantime, I'm feeding wild ones to make them explode. This has to be good, right? 34 and 15 should be fine. Um, hold on, we're just gonna lay these down, pop you in here so you keep growing, take them with me. Okay, I think we're good. Die, 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 there we go. Oh, you're even gonna leave me with some parsnips. I appreciate it, aw, key. That is super important as well, because we've seen two doors now, I think. Ooh, more stuff. What is that, oil? I might need that. I don't need mosaic slimes, get out of here. Take some of that. All right, and we unlocked a new area, so let's see what's going on over here. I get the feeling that this is just above where I've already been, which would be super disappointing. Oh my god, are you kidding me? So the only thing behind the Gordo is a max level treasure that I can't open. I need to figure out how to get that safe cracker, but we do have another key. Like I said, oh, there's another one over there. They're everywhere. I've seen like 
10 of them now. I don't know if that's a part of this update. If it is, be sure to let me know. I would like to open all this stuff, but for now, I guess we're gonna go find a door and open it. I've definitely seen one. Here we go, I knew it was around here somewhere. This is another place that I have not spent a whole lot of time around. And I'm seeing some flowers, which means we might be near a fountain. Is there anything around here that I've missed? No? Whole lot of ocean. Oh, that's so weird. Very strange, very ominous. All right, let's see what's behind the door. I really wanted to finish this today. I wanted to get the whole way through the glass desert, rejuvenate everything. We've spent so much time just trying to get through obstacles. Open sesame. Give me something cool. Just be the statue right there. That's all I care about. It could be waiting for me. Wait, what? I've already been here? No, no. <gasps> that was the other door that I've seen. I was like, I've seen two doors. No, I saw one door from both sides. So what's the point? I guess by doing that, I can run with the water in a different direction, right? We did see one flower over there I might be able to reach. So if I go up here and my jetpack doesn't bone me, there we go. There should be flower around here that wants a little bit of water. 15 seconds, we got loads of time. Yep, right up here. So I can, oh no, I don't want to shoot my stuff. There we go. Cool. So we got one. Are there any more around here? I'm not seeing any more flowers that I would be able to reach with that fountain. Yeah, there's one here, but I don't think I could sprint all that way. That's a stretch for sure. Also, you guys were telling me that these things come from these guys, which is kind of, uh, Good to know. If I farm you and you burn my farm down, I won't be blaming the fire slimes anymore. I saw another flower that I think we might be able to reach. I, I wanna make a run for it. It's gonna be the hardest one yet, I think, but it's worth the shot. It's over by one that we reached before. So maybe we'll be able to get there. Again, I have no idea how close I am to actually finishing off the entire desert. It doesn't feel like I'm particularly close but every single flower I can get, I wanna to try to get. It was up tucked away near this wall, I think. Where, yeah, up here. Uh, oh, five, oh crap, F four, three, two, yeah. Just barely. Got it though, oh yeah. So here's what I'm thinking. We found a Tangle Gordo and it had a teleporter underneath it. We found a mosaic gordo and it had a key in it. We don't need a teleporter, we don't need a key. So somewhere there has to be a dervish or a fire gordo or both. And then behind them must be the statue that I'm looking for. It's all I can think of because I feel like I've been roaming around this place for days, like multiple episodes, and I'm clearly missing something. Is that a fire tornado? I definitely don't want fire tornadoes up my butt either. Yeah, you see, I knew there was gonna be one here somewhere. Found it. I don't have fruit though, and I don't know how to get up to it. What, I'm not gonna be able to jump that high. Uh, uh, can I, nope. Oh geez, I just dropped like a rock. Ducked in here not to get fire tornadoed, and I found this. So what have you got for me? Something cool, maybe? Uh, ruined desert blocks. Heavy stones arranged in a geometric fashion for an unknown purpose. That makes sense, I really have no idea, and... Ooh, hello, fire slime. I also found this, which is not good news. It means that we not only need to find the rest of the dervish to get that fountain activated, but there's a whole other fountain somewhere that I haven't activated. Possibly behind that guy who I can't even reach. Careful, oh, yes, okay. Hardcore parkour for the win. So we can get over there. I don't know why I'm trying. I don't have any fruit for him. I just wanna see, I guess, what he's all about. Yeah, so you are definitely a happy little Gordo just hanging out, waiting for me to make you die. That's kind of twisted now that I think about it. So please, I mean, he's not even blocking the way in all reality, so what could he have in him? I don't know, that's really weird. Okay, uh, we've been here already. I see something I haven't gotten though. We taken that, boop. Something cool, maybe, probably a cosmetic, a potted tactus. 
What? A, a cactus found in the glass desert that slimes and other items can stick to for a short while. Okay, and then yeah, we've rejuvenated all of this before, so... Now I need to get a whole ton of fruit and hopefully blow up that Gordo, and then I need to find the Tangle statues, and I need to find the Dervish statues. I have no idea how I'm gonna find any of this stuff. So I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Slime Rancher, guys. We didn't really get everything done that I wanted to, but we made progress. I mean, that's the big thing. There's a lot more here than I would have expected. I just assumed that we needed to activate a few fountains, spray some plants, Desert would be good as new, but apparently not. This is a very big puzzle. There's still a whole lot of work to do on the ranch. A lot more episodes of Slime Rancher to come. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.